Ocean's temperate waters, in the heart of a giant algae forest, we meet a very strange visitor, the subantarctic fur seal. Every year at the same time, they leave the high seas to return to the beaches of their infancy, where they will give birth to their young. September on the Amsterdam island coast. Created from a volcanic eruption, it is one of the most isolated islands in the world, a real welcoming land for these ocean wanderers. The males are the first to come ashore. They've just spent seven months at sea. Their first concern is to claim a territory where they can start their hari. The defense of their ground is primarily dissuasive. The bulls growl loudly to try and intimidate the others and keep them at a distance. prefer to avoid confrontation, but sometimes very violent combats arise. These can be fatal for the unfortunate loser. Three weeks later, the first females arrive. A lot more delicate than the males, they weigh only 50 kilos, which is two to four times less than the males. In contrast to the males, they never stay away from the island for more than six weeks. They have to alternate periods at sea and periods on land to nurse their young for 11 months. Females are welcomed and accosted by the nearest bulls. By fair means or foul, the males in this way form their harem, which can have as many as 20 females. Once the Haribs are established, woe betide he who tries to worm his way in. The males are remarkably strong. Their jaws, equipped with long sharp teeth, can exert as much pressure as that of a bear, 
two tons per square centimeter. The loser has no choice but to leave, and quickly. Unfortunately for him, in order to do so, he has to cross the other Alpha Bull's territories, and thus inevitably receives several biting blows. All the females are now under the protection of a male. Less than 24 hours after their arrival, they give birth to a single young that weighs from 4 to 5 kilos. Mother and newborn exchange olfactory and auditory cues, which allow them to recognize each other within the crowded colony. Tender and protective, the mother is very attentive to her young. From his very first cry, she lies on him to make sure he doesn't wander away, fall in a hole, or is crushed by an adult. The mother's physical condition during nursing is very important. It determines the pup's development, who, if it is a male, will later become dominant or be dominated. She gives him his energy via a milk very rich in proteins and fats.
The female fur seal can have her first pup from the age of four and can have one every year until the end of her life, towards the age of 23. The male is physiologically mature at the age of four, but it is only towards the age of 10 that he can reproduce effectively, being by this time strong enough to defend a territory and a harem. But he can only ensure two reproductive seasons in his lifetime, or two months, in 18 years. As early as the week that follows the birth, the male once again impregnates the female. The male will stay on land for two months without eating until all the females are impregnated. At that stage, he will have lost nearly 100 kilos. The impregnation has produced an egg whose development is blocked until it takes root in the uterus. There is delayed implantation. This allows the female to conserve her energy for nursing her newborn and to go to the sea to fish. After one week's nursing, during which the pup has gained one and a half kilograms, the mother goes several hundreds of kilometers offshore into the sea. Being a poor diver, she hunts at nightfall to take advantage of vertical migrations of certain fish. With the females gone, the young are left to their own devices, sometimes for up to three weeks. Continuously searching and calling anxiously for their mother, they decide to explore their surroundings, stumbling here and there on the many rocks. Finally, with their stomachs still empty, the pups crowd together in the nursery, sheltering from the sun under clumps of grass and rocks. Amsterdam Island also accommodates other inhabitants. The yellow-nosed albatross, the biggest colony in the world, is found here. 
It is also the birthing period for them. But unlike the baby fur seal, the chick is never left alone. The albatross couple, joined for life, take turns to watch him in four-day shifts. One of the parents surveys, while the other goes to sea to find him some food. The weather is hot. It's bathing time for the fur seals, including the young immatures pushed outside the colony's edges. The fur seals love lounging in the water and spend a lot of time cleaning their magnificent fur, which is thick and insulating. Their moustaches, called vibrissae, are also subject to meticulous cleaning. They are very sensitive to vibrations, and they allow the seals to detect prey in the middle of the night, and also to recognize one another. After grooming comes playtime. Fur seals adore water games. Surfing is their speciality. Indeed, they are the unrivaled champions of this sport. On the beach, the young are still waiting for their mother. The males are also waiting impatiently. It is full moon, and the females will return soon. Their alternating stays on land and in the sea are in fact synchronized with the lunar cycle. Night 
after night, the males watch the moon. The wait is endless. return. They call their young, but some of the young are not yet able to identify their mother's call. This mother has a lot of trouble in finding her offspring. After such a long fast, the young are starving. They have lost 200 grams per day. Some of them still have to wait in the nursery. They receive some strange looking visitors. Rock hoppers returning from a swim. are now three weeks old. They weigh about seven kilos. The creche have moved closer to the water's edge, and the young have become more daring, not hesitating to step over a curious obstacle. It is a young strayed elephant seal who has come here to molt. He's normally found much further south, in the Kerguelen archipelago. The elephant seal shows no sign of aggressiveness, but he could unintentionally crush several pups just by changing position. Time has now come for them to discover the joys of the water. They timidly approach the edge of the shallow pools left there by the tides. The game is to dip their heads in the water, but they do so cautiously. rush in. 
The others will soon follow. Fresh is now livelier than ever. The pups have discovered something new, a wonderful underwater playground. Some of them have the luck to be helped by their mother, but most of them have to manage by themselves. Encouraged by their games, they finally dive into the ocean. The first step is taken. Following their parents' footsteps, they will discover the open sea. They will have to wait 11 months before leaving the creche for good and starting their adult life. 11 months during which they will learn to synchronize their cycle with the moon cycle, which is their mother's cycle, the cycle of all fur seals.